This is the second video to how to make over unity. A few replies came in and I wanted to address them. One, it is easy to produce a step up. This is a step up. Okay? So it takes 12 volts and it makes 48 volts and 8 amps out. Just from a 12 volt. Okay? These are other step ups that I used in my projects. So what's the difference between a step up and over unity? Well, remember, we're saying in the definition I created, the one that actually works, that doesn't break the laws of conversation, is that you have to have a complete circle. That means that you have to produce enough energy out to run the application that you started with. Now, are we doing that? See, this W right here means watts. Okay? Now, we have a meter over here. Somebody asked me, he was like, you're just showing meters and not telling me what they are. Okay. This is this is a watt meter and you see the brown cord and that W remember it means watts right now we are drawing 43.2 watts of power from this plug and if you remember the brown cord let's go up to the brown cord the brown cord is plugged into what this power supply okay now if that's plugged into the power supply, what does the power supply go to? Okay, so this cord right here, and I don't know because it's, it's mixed up in these cords, and I don't want them too mixed up. But as we can see, these two cords right here are hooked to this. That's where that power supply is doing. This thing is a step up okay so if we go down to, and follow the cords down here it goes through this box well first of all it goes through these two batteries and then it goes into this box which chokes it down okay we step it down because if I take this and we showed it in the last video, these two batteries and hook it directly to this cord, which goes up to this tie grid, which shows you watts here, okay? It will give you 900 watts from those two batteries, but only for 10, about 10 minutes, about 10 minutes or less, okay? And then it's completely dead and you have to recharge them. So I wanted to choke that down and control the electricity out of the battery. And that's what I did. But because this right here is only running 12 volts. Okay. You guys can do the math. Volts times amps times these two together and you get your watts. But if we just go to the watt meter. It's going to tell you what those watts are. Right there, that W right there is watts. Now, if I go to function and go, let's see, that's kilowatts. Okay. This is voltage. So it's telling me that I got 119 volts. This is the amps. 0 0.691. This is the high, no, this says the low uh, watts. That is the high watts for those who understand what that actually means. And then we're back to regular watts coming from the device. This right here is pulling. So that tells me the power from the grid, and let's go back to that cord. See that cord is plugged in, plugged into this, and then it's plugged into that. That's telling me what I'm consuming from my grid. Now, if we can remember that number. And we go back over to here and turn this on. 
Okay, see that little red dot there? That means it's off. It's about to turn green because I'm about to turn it on. And it is on. Okay. So let's go up here and see. What are we pulling? Look at this. It is a 103.8 watts. Went down to 1. But it's 102, 103. You see it fluctuating. But that W here, that W right there, means watts. This whole apparatus is putting this back into the grid. It is, this plug is plugged into the wall. That is the job of a tie grid. Okay? So that's what a tie grid, for the people who don't know. Now the people who know this, this is common knowledge. Okay? So this energy that's going in the grid is now in my grid and I can use it. So I can use 100 and five watts of power going into my grid. Okay, so now we look at the watts coming out from the grid. 43.2.1, it fluctuates, that's coming out. Now, I pointed it out, but I guess I didn't say it specifically what's watts in and watts out. This meter, which you can buy on Amazon, is watts out this machine puts watts in okay so if you go by their definition more power out than in which is just not true i'm already creating over unity and no one has done this other than me no one and he said so. He says, I want to see what's in and what's out. Go back and watch the videos. I'll put a link into the thing so you can see those other two videos that I'm talking about. So when I showed this, of course you got somebody who's, uh, writing in to me and saying bollocks. Of course, because they've been taught wrong. Okay? This was just a simple step up. How can I pull less energy? Well, let me show you how I pull less energy, which I did in my last video, and make this right here, which I can make higher by just turning this uh, power supply up, is one. I took this step up, which is taking 12 volts, which I'm taking from the grid, 12 volts, and this is the... the how it made 12 volts. It's not quite 12 volts, but still 12 volts. You see what it is. So I'm taking that 12 volts. I'm putting it through this machine. Okay. And I'm putting it down into these batteries right here, which now stabilizes the 12 volts because you can't just use the step ups. I can't take this and attach it to this over here. It will not run this machine. But, what it, what, well, I'll tell you what it does. It'll turn the sheen on for one second and then it'll go down to zero. Then it'll turn it on. That's because the capacitors in this machine can only, it, it'll just suck all of the juice out of the capacitors in there. So it'll go on and off. But it's made for batteries. That's why it's called a step up. It's made for charging uh, if you only have a 12 volt or you have a 12 volt battery and you want to charge a 48 battery, that's what you use these for. Higher step ups for batteries. DC. So guess what it's connected to? Batteries. Which now the energy going in here has both the amps and the voltages. That's why we call it stable. Okay. Now, this is a whole different type of power because the power in, as you see, it jumps over here and into this thing because I had to choke it back. And then it goes directly into this grid right here. That's where it's connected into. So, what's going on with this right here? I'll tell you. I showed a video which shows you how to use a step up and then you stabilize it and you can do that a thousand times with the next higher battery 
you'll have so much energy, okay? So when you disconnect the batteries from your system, it will charge the system that you got the energy from in the first place. So, say if I had a Jackery. I could take that Jackery, charge it up with this. I, I have to point this. See this meter? It's plugged into the wall. So it's taking 12 volts. And because I used the step up, okay, and I charged the batteries, these batteries have enough energy to charge the Jackery. So, what is my definition of over unity, which I've used for years since 1983 to 1984 when I actually presented it into my uh, science class? It is alternating DC current. Okay? So, when you start to understand that once you got alternating DC current, you should be able to make a complete wraparound. That means, yes, I can run a motor with a motor because I can switch back and forth between the batteries and the charge port. And we'll get more into that later. But I just wanted to make uh, this simple so people can understand that once, you see where it says right here, 126 watts out, that's a meter. It's telling you every all the information. This meter, I just put this meter on here to tell me how much energy is actually going into the batteries. So I know that this battery is at 36.4 and is and it's charging it with three amps. Okay? You see that it says 130 watts. So it's telling me all the information is going into this battery. So when a person tells me. Oh, you can't do that. Well, the numbers tell you you can. And since this machine, if anybody looks it up who don't know, then you'll find out that this is putting energy watts back into my grid in which it uses this energy first before it uses the grid energy from the outside source. Okay? Everybody who has this system knows this is common knowledge now this is another common knowledge tool most people will tell you go buy a watts meter so you can tell how much energy you're using so anybody who knows what this is will know that that w means watts and it's telling you that i'm pulling this watts out of the wall using this device come down to the core brown cord and that's what's pulling that grid. That's what's making the power in the first place. And this is a power supply. If I pull back, that's just a power supply. I can turn up the amps here and I can turn up the voltage here. That's just a power supply. And then that power supply comes down again into what? The step up. And the step up puts the energy into these batteries. Which, guess what? My tie grid wouldn't do. Okay? And then this right here chokes it down so I don't use up all the energy at one time. And puts it back into this right here. And if you follow those cords up, let's see. You see that they're connected to this machine. Which is now what? Come on, say it with me. More energy out then we put in. Look at that. Out. In. Now, why did that go down? Let's explain that. Because we're discharging these batteries. That's why it went down. So we had 36. Guess what? If I want it stable, I just turn this off. This starts to tick down. See, it's going down, down, down. And then this right here is saying off as it's ticked down. See that 10? See that 8, 7? We go up there, 6. It's ticking down. Okay? 
So I turn that, that off and guess what? The battery charges back up. So now that's gonna go back up and I can do that again, over and over again. Again, once this energy is in the grid, that 102 watts that you see there, let me turn this back on so we can see it one more time. Okay, Let's push the button, 90 watts, 87, 92, 102, 103, 104. Okay, now once it's in the grid, Guess what? This cord right here, which we've been talking about, has to use this energy first, that energy, and that's the only energy that it's using. That is a full circle. That is over unity. I am making more power out than I'm using. Okay, anybody else want to say that these common household items that you can buy is not doing what it says it's supposed to do? All the people with tie grids would want to know this. Okay, everybody who has a tie grid will want to know that they, hey, it doesn't do that. Okay, so I'm turning this off, let that tick down. And we're going to call this video number two to how to dupe uh, over unity. Most people just misunderstood what over unity actually meant. Like John Gover. But some people just want to stop this technology from ever reaching the public eye. So they make up all of these lies. And it is something they do or they practice. Misinformation is a well-known tactic to keep you from the truth. The Democrats and the Republicans are playing this game. Who is telling the truth? We don't know. That's the whole point. So we lose out. The people loses out. We need to now find the truth about over unity. I'm calling them out. So let's see what John Glover says. Bollocks, period. Pure, unrated bollocks. He goes on. Let's read what he read second. One, over unity has been sought unsuccessfully for millennia. Two, you haven't explained anything by randomly shooting of digital meters showing showing a load, a number you haven't explained clearly. You haven't explained clearly or shown the inner connections. I hope he doesn't want me to pull a machine under warranty apart. Three, if any of your numbers were to be believed, you have not distinguished between real and apparent power. Four, over unity basically is the same thing as perpetual motion. This impossible, which you know as well as any educated persons, but for some reasons, are, I don't know what that is, concealing. Again, you can see that these are store-bought machines. I'm not about to take apart $300 machines to prove a point. You just have to duplicate it yourself. Using a step-up-the-way idea is just common knowledge. Try it for yourself. Remember to use the battery and you'll see that you can produce exactly what I did. So I did this second video to explain to this guy, John Glover, how to simply do something so easily done. It's looking like this guy wanted to have a good laugh and let me pull all these machines, the $300 machines apart to prove his point but 
I'm not a Russian. I'm not going to destroy an apparatus so we can't move forward in technology, if you know who I'm referring to. Look, there's no other way to explain it the way I explain it. You've seen it for yourself, and I am the only person out there who is actually showing that it is possible to do what these people are saying. they just misquoting it wrong. So, if you want to understand true over unity and all the apparatuses of alternating DC current and what is possible, it's because you can disconnect the charge and then make it recharge and then do the opposite on the opposite side. Alternating between those charge and discharge allows you to do miraculous things but batteries are the key but now we're producing new types of batteries which we are showing you so i'm going to show a few of my book covers i hope you guys uh believe what i'm saying but if not guess what all those tie grids are on my house and i'm using them despite if I'm believed or not. So this is not a joke. This is not a game. It's something that I'm going to be using and doing, and I'm going to keep expanding it every day. So that's the best I can do. Sorry for all the people with all the mistruths. You're just going to have to catch up later because those guys are behind the time. All right, I hope you read this, and if not, pause it and go back and read it and understand. Here's some of my book covers. 